The battle continues May 1st at the second stop on the PSP Tour. So mark your calendars and sign up your team to take the field at the 2015 PSP Nashville Open. Watch all the action going down and broadcast live May 1st through the 3rd on PSPEvents.com. Welcome back to Cousins Paintball Park. A little outside of Dallas, Texas for the season opener 2015 PSP season. I'm Matty Marshall alongside Todd Martinez. And one of the big games we've been waiting for here, one of the teams that can't wait to see how they do in 2015, is San Diego Dynasty. The boys in blue, they do not have Oliver Lang with them for this season, but they picked up Alex Rodriguez. They have their, you know, their initial core still together. Yosh Rao, Ryan Greenspan, Alex Frazier. And on this first point, let's see how they do against Boom. Now, Boom has already played today. They played against X-Factor. They got beat up pretty bad 7-0, but... Uh, X Factor's been, they beat up Union too. So X Factor beat up everyone they played today. Let's see how Boom does here against San Diego Dynasty. Look at this. Alex Frazier all the way past the 50 yard line. Nice work so far here by Alex Frazier, San Diego Dynasty. And Alex Frazier's just peeling bodies off right now. Nice work by the captain of San Diego Dynasty and a legend in the, in the sport, Alex Frazier. His boy Yosh Rao right behind him. So perfect point there for San Diego Dynasty, Todd. Yeah, Dynasty just stood on both sides of the flag station in the open and just gunned down the runners uh, that were coming out wide, gave themselves an early advantage. And then Brandon Short just helped Alex Frazier work himself up in the snake. Alex, first one to go diving in the mud all the way down to boom side of the snake and just chop bodies to bits. So Alex Frazier getting it done, three confirmed kills. That first point for Dynasty. Yeah, and he hangs that flag up, touches the flag station, and the referee is gonna check him out, make sure that he is clean, but uh, that was how it was done. He got in the snake, came down there, listened to his teammates, shot some bodies. First point goes to Dynasty. Boom. Uh, at least they've been consistent out here, continuing that streak down, <laughs> down eight points. They need to do something. They need to change some game plans up, uh, You know, get some guys out that really want to come out be somewhere alive and make a difference. Well, I think they all obviously want to be out alive. I, I think the question is, you know, what what what's a concrete criticism that you could give to them? Uh, where should where should they go? Because um, to me, it's it's not necessarily that because in the in the game they played before with X Factor, they weren't getting chopped up crazy on the break. They just didn't have any offense. You know, it didn't seem like they had, had got their, their secondary moves down. They got to their spots. They were shooting their guns. X-Factor was getting to their spots, but shooting their guns with an intention. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay, I know where I'm going to go next. I just need to put player A in so I can make move X. And it didn't seem like Boom had that. You know, and they didn't get to practice the field yesterday. Um, and even the teams that did only got an hour or two hours. So they didn't get much time. So everyone's kind of really, this is, just, you know, first raw looks at it that we're getting to see these, these teams out here. So with Boom, they need to, you know, their coaches need to be giving them, hey, okay, you're my snake guy. All right, well, if you're not going after the break, you have to put in, you know, the center tower and make sure you can make that move and then check off on the lanes of the guys in front of you. You know, that sort of stuff. I think that's what Boom is missing right now. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they got into the snake a decent amount of times. They tried to go there and got shot on the break a couple times in that first point or first match. But I don't know, maybe just try and get to those corners. We've seen people get out to those corners and actually play from them a decent amount and then try and make their bumps uh, not through the middle of the field but through the inside towards the wires. So on the break out here, Dynasty with five bodies trying to get out wide, slipping and slide into that back bunker. And the more that it rains and the more this field gets played, the more it could become a mud bog. Still, grass is holding up pretty good so far, but we're still pretty early on, early on here. So now Dynasty up to the 50-yard line. There's Alex Rodriguez playing his first point, and here comes Alex Rodriguez on the run through. Gets one, gets two. Beautiful work. And we have seen time and time again as that man on your screen, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, and he's playing for the Ironman. That was, that, that, I mean, he's got a lot more in his bag of tricks other than just run-throughs up the center, but my God, man, he makes it look so easy. His field vision is just so uh, is so clear. He, he's you talk about secondary moves. Alex is always looking for that next play, that next chess ma chess match move. As you can see here on the on this or on the on that the run through, shoots one left handed, switches hands, shoots the other right handed, and that's why Dynasty picked him up, man. They've seen what this kid could do. They know he's hungry for greatness, and uh, his time had expired with the Ironman, so he comes over to the other powerhouse SoCal team and immediately gets something done for him. Yep. He made that shift. He was in the in that center A. He saw the two players lined up, so he got his gun up, shifted out, 
uh, to find his alleyway that he was going to go through the middle of the field and was able to come with a good fundamental move to get the first guy with his left hand, switch hands, get the next guy with his right. Had him lined up right in a row. His team was nice and spaced out kind of wide, so they were all looking towards the outside. And, you know, when you have a player that can read the field like that and understand the situation, that's what you're going to get. Big move right there by Alex Rodriguez. So, boom, again, going to have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, not able to shoot any Dynasty players out in that point. Score 2-0, to zero, but with 18.30 on the clock, tons of time left here for Boom to try to get something going. Biggest thing right now, though, is, uh, is no surprise here. Dynasty real good at shooting guys off the break and seems to, uh, you know, to, fi to figure out those off-the-break lanes. Uh, but when we left the field here uh, pretty late as it was getting dark last night, uh, Dynasty was still out here walking the field. Yeah, well, they always want to be the last ones on the field. That's like their thing. They'll well, stay. They'll stay. Just, if just on general there, principle. Yeah, they'll they'll just stay and wait for the last guy to leave, so they can say they're the last ones. On the breakout, Alex Frazier catches one early, and his spot is filled by Ryan Greenspan. So uh, only one body over here, Snake side, and it's Ryan Greenspan who's on your screen. So he's gonna have to try to work out. Better field position for Boom. They're pushing up the D side right now. They're also in the center. They have five bodies alive here, so this is what Boom needed to happen. They need to win this point. They have a one-body advantage right now and better field position. Boom loses a body out of that small Dorito. But they still have two over there. Yosh Rao mirrored up with that can Yoshi across the field towards the snake side. We got one body in the insert to the snake. The outside temple on the snake side, there's Ryan Greenspan on your screen with Alex Rodriguez inside of him. Ryan Greenspan looks like he's trying to call a, call a dead body, but that player is still alive. So there's Alex Rodriguez dead center on your screen, stand-up temple. And then Ryan Greenspan just holding that lane down on the snake, trying to keep number 20 for boom, Blake McShane for making that move, and there he is. There's Blake, gunfighting with Ryan Greenspan, trying to stay as tight as possible. He has that leg up, though, so, you know, and then now Ryan, he's up on his feet. Ryan trying to choose the inside lane there, gunfighting using all that bunker. Now tuck back into it. You can always tell by a player's body language what they're thinking. If they want to move, if they don't want to move, if they're just holding the lane down, and you can tell. And there's Alex Rodriguez in the center. And I think that's Yosh. Yeah, there's Yosh. That's Yosh. Yosh in the can. He's next to Blake Yarber, Alex Rodriguez, right in the middle in the tall temple. And Ryan Greenspan now making a bump out to the outside temple on the snake side. Well, you know, one of the reasons that uh, the Dynasty was able to win at the MAO, which was a much different field than this, was, a, was their gunfighting ability. Their ability to hold lanes, their ability to gunfight, and Yosh Rao was a big part of that. And... Uh, and that's what he's known for. So, you know, look for Yosh and, and also Alex Rodriguez to be up in where they are right now. There's Yosh on your screen, and he's trying to keep McShane from moving up on that snake side. He still has to be careful, though, because now he loses a body. So now Yosh is going to have to be head-checking back and forth. You see the Eye in the Sky version now. Ryan Greenspan comes up. So Blake Yarber got into that 50 Dorito, but then he got shot. So just three bodies left alive now for Dynasty. Yeah, three for Boom, though, too. So... You know, this is what we want to see out of Boom, you know, get out to their spots, stay alive, you know, and, and let the game play out. Then you can see the match developing on that D side. No one on actually in any of those Doritos. You can see there, though, pretty even field position, a little bit better field position right now for Boom. And Yosha's had to move his gun back and forth. There's no one over there with him. So him and Alex have got to talk up with Ryan Greenspan over here in the snake. So tense moments here. Greenspan searching. Now he's going to establish a lane down the sidelines. Oh, it looked like a boom player tried to make a move up the Dorito side. I think got picked off by Alex Rodriguez, who was looking that way. And then I think Yosh just got dropped one in on, uh, on Shambler. Yeah, so beautiful work there by San Diego Dynasty. Close point, though, so you got to give it to Boom. They were able to take a couple Dynasty players out. They shot Alex Frazier off the break, so they finally got that off the break shot down. And Blake Yarber gets take, uh, taken out by Willie Mann, which left Yosh Rao, Greenspan, and Rodriguez. But they played tight, they played smart, and they were able to get those shots. Yep, so San Diego Dynasty 
going up 3-0. A little bit longer point. That's probably the longest point we've seen from Boom so far, where they're actually in their bunkers, mm -hmm. talking, mm -hmm. picking smart gun battles, not just trying to force moves. Until the very end when they had a couple unfortunate deaths in their bunker, and there was a move up on the on the D side where uh, Alex was able to get that shot on him. And so, you know, they forced it a little bit, but still, that was a good point by Boom. Yeah, so, I mean, they are the new guys around here. You know, playing some really good teams. You know, your first two games of the season are against X Factor and Dynasty. You know, it's a tough, <laughs> it's a tough one to swallow right there. But I mean, every every game they play, every point should be a learning experience. Like you're talking about Ninos. Yeah, like Ninos said from AC Dallas, which we're going to see later on, and he said it's either win or learn. And so with Boom right now, I mean, yes, it's a it's a tough thing with having to play Dynasty, having to play X Factor. But that's why they're here. That's who you want to play because you never you couldn't get a better situation to try to get better than to play those teams, you know, because yeah. you're going to see what they bring and you can learn from those losses. So, again, still a lot of time left, so not necessarily the Boom is going to lose this game. However, the dreaded three-point spread has reared its ugly head because anytime you have a, a situation where one team goes up over the other team by three, historically, statistically, that team wins a huge percentage of the time. Um, but last year we saw a decent amount of comebacks. More, more, more than we'd seen in previous seasons. Yeah, always exciting to watch. I think X Factor was probably about half of those. <laughs> they were just dig themselves a hole and then kind of have huge comebacks all yeah. throughout the season. But so you're on the breakout. Ryan Greenspan now up in the center. The very versatile Ryan Greenspan, and uh, looks like Kyle Spicka on your screen in the snake. Kyle Spicka, snake specialist. And boom, gonna lose two bodies pretty quickly there. One out of the middle, here comes Ryan Greenspan, Tyler Harmon bumping over to the Dorito side. Greenspan coming through the middle looking for kills. And here gets one, two bodies left alive. There goes one out of the back center for Boom, just one player left alive. Here comes Ryan Greenspan. Oof, Ryan Greenspan stuffing the last player. Blake McShane stuck in that bunker, not able to make it into the snake where we've seen him all tournament long. And uh, Ryan Greenspan just runs a racket through the center of the field, not a lot of guns looking at him. And he was able to get it done. So a beautiful, another perfect point by San Diego Dynasty. Ryan Greenspan, four confirmed kills for him. Three of them came in that point right there. Yeah, getting it done out there. Well, what do we say? With the bucket hats. Well, that's, yeah, with, the, <laughs> with their rain style on. Uh, but, the, but that was one, one of the stories that now with the, with the um, departure of Oliver Lang from San Diego Dynasty, at least for the 2015 season, this season, is the last time that happened, and you can see there Ryan Greenspan winning a gun fright right there, making it look good. And, and then you see he backs up off of that bunker and then comes and runs down McShane. So, uh, but, but we were talking before the, uh, when we had that technical break about Ryan Greenspan and about how he really became the Ryan Greenspan that we know on the field the first time that Oliver uh, left San Diego Dynasty. And he really stepped up and, and really was... Um, that you know, proved that he was one of the best in the world. And he's been that guy ever since. So, you know, we're going on 10 years at this point. And he was good before that. Anyway, when you're looking at this on paper, you've got to give this one to San Diego Dynasty. Um, though, because Dynasty did have a little hitch midseason, um, got to take a little bit off of that finishing for them. But, yeah, you know, come on, you know, over time, year after year after year, they're always competitive, always at the top of the game. Boom, still proving themselves out here. So we're going to have to see. And it looks like Boom calling a, an, an important timeout for them as the rain's starting to come on a little bit heavier here. We're going to be right back after this. Stick with us. The streets ain't chasing the same things you chase. It's many temptations out there. Just stay focused, man. As a team, though. As a team. That's all I knew when I was here. That's what kind of kept me focused. That I finally ran into a team. You guys have that same thing. Because this you, this you will never die. It'll never die. They say paintball is 90% mental. The mental aspect of our sport goes far beyond game plans and visualization. 
Now more than ever, Empire provides an unmatched support system for you both on and off the field. Having this level of support allows you to focus on the things that you need to go out there and get the job done. The Empire All-In Sponsorship Program. Thousands of players, hundreds of teams, one family, one support system. Fourteen twenty-seven to play here. Senegal Dynasty taking on Boom. Shamber, Jensen, Mann, McShane, and Dennis on the field right now for Boom for Dynasty. Yosh Rao, Alex Frazy, Alex Rodriguez, Ryan Greenspan, and Blake Yarber. Here we go. Start of the point. There goes Boom. Snake side. And able to get a good crossfield spread, pushing up in that center all the way to the 50-yard line. And here comes Alex Rodriguez. And he is going to do the do -si do Oh, takes out the first one, tries to get the second one, not able to do it. And it looks like there's going to be a major penalty on number 13, Dennis, for Boom. So Alex Rodriguez finds a little bit of a seam. Well, there goes uh, C.J. Shamber getting shot off the snake side. But Boom still got two bodies over there on the Dorito side attacking. McShane, he's, uh, he's going to get shot. And it looks like uh, Blake Yarber going to go bunker out that 50 Dorito. And there goes the last body for Boom. So... Man, Dynasty making short work of Boom out here. Tough way to start. Boom, yet to put a point on the board. Yeah, so uh, I mean, we've seen a series of quick points from Dynasty. Uh, there was one point within this match that Boom did play a uh, pretty close one against Dynasty, but. You know, Alex Rodriguez is on fire. Greenspan's on fire. Frazier's looking real good. Rao's looking real good. Blake's pushing up that D side. Um, Spick has, you know, gotten here in the snake as well. I mean, it, this is kind of what we expected to see here from San Diego Dynasty. They always come out real strong in the, in the beginning of the year, and they're doing it again. Uh, Dynasty only plays one game today. Tomorrow they will play uh, Union, first game of the day, and then they're going to take on X Factor around 1030. So that's tomorrow morning's... Uh, battles for San Diego Dynasty. Really looking forward to uh, that X-Factor game because so far today, um, seeing you know Heat, X-Factor, Dynasty now, Thunder, and Boom, and Union, uh, right now the, 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 the top two teams, at least from what we've seen thus far, is X-Factor and Dynasty. But you know Heat still has another game against Rebo, so they could potentially pick it up if they tighten up that communication that we saw uh, Fedorov venting his frustration about when his, he was interviewed earlier with Lauren. So we'll score five to zero right now. And let's see who Dynasty sends out. We're getting a look in the pits. Looks like we got Rodriguez. Spick a short. Tyler Harmon. And Dalton Vanderbilt. Boom. See who Boom sends out here. There's Dynasty in the flag station. Sure, Short and Spica. Rodriguez, Harmon, and Vanderbilt. And there's Boom on your screen. With well, the player still in the box. A minute and 27 seconds left on that major penalty for Jason Dennis. And coming out here, you can see the eye in the sky. Better field position for Dynasty. Pushing three bodies towards that D side. See by the body language though, looks like um, looks like Rodriguez wants to get up in that center again. So they are just you know, Dynasty is just letting Rodriguez play jazz there up in the fifth yard line in the center. And you can see he wants to go, and he makes this move out wide a little bit. Doesn't go to the center A structure. Digs out a little bit more towards the D side, uh, snake side here. And you he can see he's lo he's wish. looking for it. He wants that run. <laughs> Oh, is he going to pick up that boom player? Coming across the snake gap, sure does. Looked over just in time. And here he comes. Off to the races again is Alex Rodriguez. 
and just unstoppable so far here for San Diego Dynasty as a team. And Rodriguez for sure up that center. That's his uh, second second run through up there all the way through. And you can, I mean, he looks hungry, man. You see that body language out there? He's, he's looking like he's a hungry man about to go eat a juicy steak. I think he's out here to prove uh, the Ironman wrong for letting him get away. That's what it looks like to me. Like, hey, you know, because remember towards the end of last year, it didn't seem like he was getting as many spins as he was in the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he's just like out here to be like, hey, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. You know, I want to get my spins. I want to get my time. Yeah. So Dynasty letting him run through the middle. You can see there on the replay, there he is off to the races, just smoking, boom, down. Turns around. See if there's another body to shoot, but no, you no, got them all, bud. It. So Dynasty one point away from taking victory here against Boom. There we are in the Dynasty pit. There's Coach Rusty Glaze, who's done a, a great job leading one of the best teams, or the best team ever. You're just going off win count. That's, that's a good measure. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, but it's great, you know, because with Dynasty, we talked about this a lot when, Di you know, Dynasty, or uh, with Rusty was playing on Dynasty, and um, I think he, I think it was just him and Yosh Rao, I think they went out to eat, and Yosh was like, hey, we want you to coach the team, is that something you'd be interested in doing? And Rusty was like, absolutely. Because it's a very interesting mix of charismatic personalities and experience on that team, and it takes, you know, you played on Dynasty, you know how hard it's been for coaches for them over the years, but, um, but Rusty's been doing a good job. So still a lot of tournament left, though. And again, Dynasty tomorrow takes on uh, Union, and they also will play against X-Factor. And after the conclusion of this match, we're going to see Houston Heat take on Revo. So this is going to be our first look at Baltimore Revo for the 2015 season. And we've already seen Heat so far this morning. Played a close one against Thunder. 4-3 to three was that score. All and the way to the snake on the break. Dynasty's Alex Frazier going to get in and get to the 50. Go past the 50 and look to get those kills across the field. He's going to get one. Gets two. And here comes Shamber to try and get Alex. And, and then somebody's going to Alex. Looks like Alex is going to get a major. And after these, after he got crashed into by CJ Shamber. Yeah, it's not going to matter though because I think they are, there was a body left to pull. And no, there's still, now it's two on two. Oh, and then. Looks like Ryan Greenspan came through the middle. Didn't see Willie Man right there. They blew each other up, but there is still one body left. I think after all the chaos, only one body left alive. It's like Blake Yarber over there on the Dorito side for Dynasty. So Blake surveying the carnage on the snake side and in the center after uh, Frazier goes through and does his damage. He gets taken out, gets a major, and then Greenspan comes through. He takes out two, and Blake Yarber left alive at the end to put that final point on the board here for San Diego Dynasty. So Dynasty should be pretty content with this victory, with the 7-0 skunking of Boom, and looking pretty good doing it. Looks like they have some game plans down. We can see they're here on this play. So Alex must have caught one in his pack, or maybe he was on the side of his head there, and then trips. And you can see it from this other side. Oh, yeah, he had those hits on his, on his, uh, on his leg there. Then tripped over him. <laughs> well, Alex had a great game. Yeah. Uh, six confirmed kills for Alex Frazier and dominant performance for San Diego Dynasty. And, 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 and Alex is Alex screaming at us right now. <laughs> <laughs> he missed him. Yeah, he so, missed me. He missed me. Anyway, so we're going to be right back. Stick with us. See you in a second. from Dynasty, congratulations. You guys just won your first match of the season here in Dallas. Alex, you did get a penalty. Tell me uh, what happened during that penalty, what caused it? Well, you know, it's, it's rubbing his racing out there. You know, the guy 
came up, fell down, missed me like three times, and I turned around and shot him. And I mean, from what it looked like, you know, he had me dead to rights, which he did. But um, you know, I'm not going down that easy. You know, I can't, I can't um, just get shot in the back and stop playing. I'm going to keep playing if I get shot or not, and um, just hope my team pulls it out. Just the way I do it. Um, obviously, you guys have a stacked roster. You have a lot of weapons on your team, but losing Oliver um, was kind of a shock for a lot of people. What ran through your guys' mind when you found out he wouldn't be with you here in Dallas? Oh, well, you know, I'm happy for him, but, um, you know, whatever he wants to do as a person, I support because, you know, my friendship is with him is, um, you know, more important than the team in, in a lot of ways. But, you know, the team is like my child, and, you know, I can't help but feel a little bit put out by that because, you know, we're always here for each other, and we have been for you know, however many years since 2001. So, um, you know, all the best to him, but we wish you, we had him here. Rusty, you guys didn't end the season, obviously, the way you wanted to um, in 2014. Coming into this one, what did you learn from last season that you were trying to capitalize on? Well, I feel a lot more, We, uh, especially with the changes, we've been working a lot on just teamwork and communication, and, and that was a change from last year, is, is working more together than individually, and we, we put a lot of focus on that. And right now we're just trying to get out in the rain. It's harder to play. So the strategy is sort of get out through spots and get do the best you can in it. You guys spend a lot of time studying layouts. Um, you hunker down the night before. We see all your Instagram pictures. Um, being that you only had 24 hours, what was your process to like really try to figure out this field and have an upper hand against other teams? Well, I think our, our, our process started with having to draw our own field maps because they didn't release them. So that was a fun project that we got involved in. And then later they released the maps, which was nice at midnight or so. We got the maps to work with. Um, but, you know, you got to come out and figure out game plans, walk the field and figure out the strategy the best you can. It's sort of like showing up to the layout the first day of practice. A lot more wild things will happen. And then the layout will sort of shrink down and people will play a little more control once they figure it out. Um, I've been hearing mixed things about the center of the field, how productive it is to get down the center. What would you say? Is, is that a strong place to run off the break? I think it's, uh, it, it can be for certain people. I think some players can go up there and produce results, and some players can go up there and, and watch a zone. It's just going to probably fall in personnel more than what the field will do. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, stay tuned. Guys, we've got another match coming up. So different strategies and different theories on how to play the center of that field as we saw Alex Rodriguez and San Diego Dynasty dominating all over the field, up the center, down the snake, on the D side, played an outstanding matchup, whereas X-Factor's been going out wide. So two conflicting styles, they will meet tomorrow as Dynasty takes on San Antonio X-Factor around 10.30 a.m. Saturday, and that one's going to be crazy. Uh, but next up, we have the Ironman going to be, I'm sorry, Houston Heat going to be taking on Baltimore Revo, then the Ironman and Thunder to close out the morning bracket. So stick with us. More action coming at you from the 2015 PSP Dallas Open. Mark your calendars and get ready for the battle at the upcoming stops on the 2015 PSP Tour. The Nashville Open goes down May 1st through the 3rd. Mid-Atlantic Open June 18th through the 21st. The Chicago Open takes place August 7th through the 9th. And the biggest paintball tournament on earth, the PSB World Cup, runs October 15th through the 18th. Sign up your team now and get into the fight. Watch all the action on PSPEvents.com. You don't want to miss it. 